Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be helping you to diagnose pressure switch problems in a washing machine. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The water fill level on most washing machines will be controlled by a pressure switch which can be found at the top of the machine. This device will have a chamber attached to the bottom of the drum and a hose connecting up to the switch. I'm just going to remove the switch, the hose, and I've already disconnected the chamber so we can take a look at it. When water starts filling your machine, air is pushed up the chamber and up the hose by the rising level of water in the drum. The air rises up the hose until it activates the pressure switch. The wash cycle will then begin, agitating the clothes. Once the machine has finished the wash cycle, the control board will instruct the machine to start emptying of water. It's then the pressure switch which tells the control board when the machine is fully empty, and then the process of the spin cycle can begin. Common problems associated with the pressure switch, hose and chamber are as follows. Overfilling. This can be due to a blockage in the hose or in the chamber itself, usually down to old detergent being stuck in the chamber. A good way of remedying this is to disconnect the hose and blow down it. You can then identify whether there's a blockage in it and you can do the same with the chamber and obviously clean it out. Damage to the hose itself can cause problems as well. Sometimes what happens in some washing machines is the hose can rub against other parts of the machine, thus causing holes or wear and tear. That's why a lot of pressure switch hoses have this extra protective sleeve on it. If you see any holes or any damage to the hose, then you're going to need to replace it as the pressure switch cannot identify how much water is in the system. And this could cause refilling and it can even cause water to come over the level of the drum. Another problem which can be attributed to the pressure switch is if you have a drum half full of water and you set it to a drain cycle and then turn the machine off and find that your water is still siphoning away, this is actually due to the drain hose being set too low. So it's below the level of the water in the drum. So it's a good idea to use a drain hose clip to fasten the drain hose into to keep it secure. You can then fix this so that it's above the level of the water in the drum and make sure that the drain hose doesn't accidentally fall down. Another common problem with pressure switches is the machine not spinning. This could be caused by a blockage in the chamber, which allows air to enter the chamber and the hose, but not to leave. Therefore, the machine still thinks it's full and will not begin the spin cycle. Another great way of checking if the hose or chamber is damaged is to blow down into the hose after releasing the pressure switch. You should then hear the air bubble the water inside the drum. However, do not blow into the pressure switch itself because pressure switches vary. They can be linear or analog, and if you blow into them, they could cause damage. Some pressure switches have to be reset when the machine is moved or before the machine's first use. To do this, put two liters of water inside the drum, set the machine to a drain cycle and reset the machine. So there we are diagnosing pressure switch problems on a washing machine. Spares and accessories for washing machines, as well as all other appliances, can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.